Here's a quick demo of the Base Station 2 editor in Patch Base. Let's fetch a patch. And let's make some changes to it. Try some different tunings. Now let's start with an init patch. And let me show you some of the hidden features for the sub-oscillator. You can tune it and change the waves and modulate things just like the other two oscillators. So now we have three oscillators that we can stack to make thicker sounds. In this demo, I'm using the computer keyboard to play notes on the bass station too. With the new features of the sub-oscillator, we can use it just like a regular oscillator to make three-note chords. The voice editor also has a randomize feature to create new random starting points for sounds. With the Base Station 2 Overlay Editor in Patch Base, you can fetch an entire bank of overlays, see the settings for every key, edit them individually, copy and paste them, as well as save and load individual patches. First, let's fetch the current overlays. Now we can go through and see each individual key and the sound settings for that key.
Let's try taking the sound from this key, copying it and pasting it to another key so we can make some changes. We can retune the key using the pitch parameter. You can of course demo the sounds by pressing the keys on the base station 2 itself, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm using the on-screen key selector. Patch Base is available for both the Mac computer as well as the iPad. If you like the sound of an individual key, you can save that key as a Base Station 2 patch. You can use the randomize feature to randomize any individual key in an overlay. If there's an individual overlay sound you really like, you could save it to your patch based library and then load it into the voice editor to play it across the entire keyboard. Use the overlay parameter in the voice editor to quickly switch between the saved overlays on your base station 2. When you found the one you want to edit, you just go back to the overlay editor and hit fetch and all the settings for the overlays will be loaded into the editor.